It all began on August 20, 1977. A small spacecraft, no larger than a family car, was launched from Earth. Its name was Voyager 2. Designed as a bold mission to explore the outer planets, few believed it would last more than a decade. But what no one expected was that Voyager 2 would become the furthest traveled object ever built by human hands. And now, 45 years later, it has sent back images that may change everything. Voyager's mission was grand. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Each planet passed unveiled a mystery. It gave us the first up-close images of Neptune's dark storms and Uranus's tilted rings. It showed us moons that no one had even imagined could exist, volcanic, icy, cracked, and strange. But as the years went on, the mission changed. It became something bigger. When Voyager 2 passed Neptune in 1989, its planetary tour was complete, but its journey was just beginning. For decades, the little probe traveled in silence, beyond Pluto, beyond the heliosphere, the bubble of solar particles that surrounds our solar system. In 2018, Voyager 2 officially entered interstellar space. The environment there, cold, harsh, silent. It was the true cosmic ocean. Despite being over 12 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 2 continued sending back data. But nothing could prepare NASA or the world for the series of images it captured in early 2025. These final pictures have shocked scientists and raised questions about what lies beyond the stars. When people imagine spacecraft cameras, they think of high-definition, color-perfect images, like those from Mars rovers. But Voyager 2's imaging system is primitive by today's standards. Its twin, wide, and narrow-angle cameras are less powerful than a basic phone camera. Yet, it has captured some of the most historic and haunting images in space exploration. After the Neptune flyby, Voyager 2's cameras were largely shut down to conserve energy. But in 2025, during a rare system recalibration, NASA engineers sent a curious command, power up the imaging system one last time, just to see what it could still see. For days, Voyager 2's camera stared into the abyss, empty space, specks of starlight, cosmic dust. But then, something moved. In one of the first frames, there was a faint triangular shadow, illuminated only by reflected starlight. At first, it was dismissed as an imaging error or cosmic ray interference. But subsequent images showed the shape again, and this time, it had changed position. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory labeled the object Anomaly X-7. It was cold, very cold, and moved with a precision that ruled out natural drift. Engineers boosted Voyager's exposure settings and tried again. What they received shocked them. The next image showed something enormous, dozens of miles wide, faintly glowing in the infrared spectrum. It appeared to have structure, geometric patterns, symmetry. But the most terrifying part? It seemed to be observing Voyager. The final image, captured just hours before Voyager 2's imaging system shut down for good, shows a frame filled with light, a pulse, then static. Voyager didn't stop functioning, but the camera never responded again. Scientists now speculate that Voyager 2 may have photographed something ancient, something no telescope from Earth has ever seen. Some argue it's just a cosmic coincidence, space debris, gravitational lensing, or digital interference. Others aren't so sure. Because shortly after the transmission, something even stranger happened. Voyager 2 adjusted its orientation on its own. In the 45 years of its mission, Voyager 2 has never changed its course, unless commanded to do so. But just 72 hours after sending its final image, NASA detected an anomaly.
Voyager 2 had rotated 14 degrees eastward. That may not sound like much, but in space it's huge. No command was sent, no reason explained. It was as if the spacecraft was trying to avoid something. Visuals, NASA Tracking Center, Puzzled Engineers, Computer Models Showing Altered Trajectory. Many believe Voyager 2's gyroscopic stabilizers simply glitched, but a detailed analysis of telemetry data shows the movement was precise, too precise to be accidental. It had aimed its antenna directly back toward Earth, almost like a warning. That's when the audio logs were examined. Though Voyager doesn't have a microphone, its magnetometer and plasma wave instruments can detect electromagnetic fluctuations. What they picked up over 12 billion miles away was a rhythmic pattern, a low-frequency hum repeated every 17 seconds. Sound, play haunting rhythmic pulse, similar to a sonar ping. Experts in artificial intelligence were brought in. Using pattern recognition algorithms, researchers discovered something astonishing. The pulse contained binary patterns. Translated, they seemed to resemble a countdown. But counting down to what? NASA has remained quiet, not confirming or denying this theory but leaked internal reports suggest the number zero would align with a date, July 28, 2025. We're days away. Visuals, countdown ticking, Voyager floating, Earth unaware. Could Voyager 2 have encountered a probe, an alien relic? Or is this simply the end of a remarkable machine's life cycle? No one knows for sure. But what we do know is this. After 45 years, Voyager 2 did something extraordinary. It captured a picture that may not have been meant to be seen. It turned as if to warn us. And now all we can do is wait. Visuals fade to black with slow zoom on Voyager drifting in silence. Out there, in the dark, something may be watching back.